This video is the third of a subseries of another longer cryptocurrency bot programming series. Uh, so it's probably a good idea to start at the beginning, uh, and I've linked to that here. Um, in this video, we'll finally be putting it all together. In our last video, we created a candlestick object that can be used both for our backtesting and live data. So in the interest of not repeating ourselves code-wise, uh, we'll be combining these two scripts into one general bot script. At the end of this video, you'll have a fully working bot script that you can use to backtest the strategy, then put it into action. Going forward, you only have to focus on the trading strategy code itself that you want to create. All the other boilerplate code will probably remain mostly the same. So let's jump right into the code. New file to our project called dot.py. This is going to combine the backtesting and the live trading script that we've created. Uh, and we're going to pull parts from the trading bot part two that we never used before, but is completely reusable code. So let's take a look at bot.py. So first of all, I ported over all the stuff that allows us to pass command line arguments to our script. Um, specifically, I was trying to get out the start time and end time to see if we're backtesting or not. So if start time is set, which means we are backtesting, it uses the backtesting code. Uh, if it's not set, that means we're live trading, and it uses the live trading code. We've updated the botchart.py to take the raw Poloniex data and get it in the same format we're using for the live trading, which was our bot candlestick object. There's really not a whole lot more to it. So if we're live trading, that means we get one data point per tick, we still start building a candlestick, as we, uh, you could see in the last video. Once the developing candlestick is closed, it gets add, added onto the stack of previous candlesticks, which our strategy can then take a look at. If we're backtesting, we get all that information at once, so we can add fully formed candlesticks to the stack. So to the initialization of the bot candlestick class, we added some defaults of none, but if these open, close, high, and low, values get passed in, as they are here on bot chart, then we can just create a fully formed, fully formed bot candlestick. The is closed will return true, and we're good to go. So let's try it out. So if we run bot with a start and an end time, we would expect it to automatically be back testing, which it looks like it did successfully. Now if we run it without those parameters, we would expect it to live trade, which it is doing successfully. So now going forward, all you have to worry about is the bot strategy part. There are plenty of improvements that could be made to bot chart, bot candlestick, that kind of thing, but what we have works, uh, and so you can get started developing your own strategy. So if you recall, that's mostly done in the, in the evaluate positions method, um, where you're looking at things like if the moving average uh, meets a certain specification, then place a trade, um, things like that. One thing, um, I'm still kind of doing the practice trade even though it's live kind of thing. Um, if you want to place actual trades on the exchange, instead of the trade opened um, log, you'll have to take from part two this functionality, where you actually connect to the exchange and buy or sell accordingly. So that's it. We'll continue making improvements to this bot. However, this is kind of the first stable version that will work. Um, so go ahead and play around with it. Continue giving me your feedback. Thank you for all the feedback I've gotten so far. It's, we've got a great uh, GitHub community happening. So make sure and check out the code there and make any improvements. Uh, check them into the repo so the whole community can have them. Thanks.